Right, so here's just a, a quick video to show the <coughs> excuse me to show the uh, uh, spindle speeds on this thing. Um, so my initial thought was to keep the uh, Reeves variator um, here in the uh, uh, around the uh, uh, what would be the 2000 rpm uh, speed position for the highest speed on the motor. The motor has has four speeds: uh, 450. Um, 700, 900 and 1400 RPM. So by putting it at the, uh, the, the highest speed being 2000 RPM from the 1400 RPM motor, by doubling the speed of the motor I'd be able to get 4000 RPM as my top speed, which for most applications for non-ferrous and so on is going to be absolutely fine for what I want to do. However, I do need to achieve, um, ideally I'd like to get the, get the spindle speed down to, uh, to something in the region of 150-200 RPM um, and using the lowest speed on the motor, which is, as I say, is 450 RPM. That means that I've got to get the frequency down pretty low on the inverter. So um, I'll just show what that looks like. So I've got the uh, got the, the motor on its on its lowest speed setting there. I'm just trying to get that three back up and going. So yes, just make sure that we are actually on the lowest speed setting. Um, yep. So this will actually be running at, uh, when I start it, it will be running at um, its maximum speed from that lowest speed motor of, of the motor, if you see what I mean. So it will be running at, at, at 100 hertz from that motor. So 900 rpm from from the motor which will give double the spindle speed here which i think uh, yeah that's about 1350 rpm Just in case you didn't get that over the rail, 1,350 rpm. That's the, that's the uh, spin speed there. So if I drop that speed down now using the inverter, um, if I drop it down to, to 50 hertz, it'll obviously give me half that speed. What is that? Um, 600 and something, isn't it? Uh, my maths isn't brilliant. Uh, so if I drop that down to to, uh, to 50 hertz, right there, that's going to give me. 675 RPM. So 675 RPM, change the range on here. That's good. And there's plenty of torque at the motor there for the uh, spin wire. So that'll be okay. If I drop it down a bit lower, so if I want to come down, say, so we've got that down to that's down to, to uh, 30 hertz, and we're getting a speed of just under 400. So that'll be about uh, was it 405? It's supposed to be, but it's not. It's actually just a bit below that. That's still got plenty of torque there. In fact, uh, that's not bad at all. But if I wanted to go much slower, if I was meaning something really quite nasty, like, like some very tough um, uh, tool steel um, with a largish cutter, if I'm using a large facing cutter on, on tool steel, I'm going to need, to, you know, you need to, to, to drop it down lower than that, um, then it's still getting a bit marginal really, it's about 20%, it's not bad at all really. 
So anyway, I did think to myself that if the torque's getting a bit low on these on these lower ranges, that's down to 10 hertz, which really is more motor story territory, um, which is going to give me what's that giving me? It's giving me about 100 rpm. I'm not really sure that I'm going to use 100 rpm um, on the big manual milling machine. I may well get the speeds down to that low for using a big. Um, using a big uh, uh, um, uh, sitting saw or side and face cutter uh, in the horizontal probably. Uh, but it's, I think it's probably unlikely. So I might get away with this set, set where it is now because um, I chose this speed range so that I get, as I said, a range of speeds up to 4,000 RPM. So I may get away, get away with this, but what I did think is that if I want to run it down to, to, a, to slower speeds, it's quite easy for me to just bring the speed up a bit. It's quite easy for me to run the speed down to half that setting again, which is down there. So that that will be giving me half of whatever is indicated on the uh, on the drive here. So um, we must be going to um, that's at 50 hertz. So where are we? At? That's at about 300 RPM. So I'm still going to get a pretty good range of speeds, really. But what would be nice is to be able to to um, to be able to switch the uh, the speed ranges. <coughs> Put that for the last one there. So that's in its highest So that's the motor running at 1400 RPM, it's at, it's at um, uh, 50 hertz. Um, it would be nice to be able to have this, this switching done by Mac 3. Not essential, but, um, but it could be done. So that's that. Thanks for watching.